Hello! Today's little video is all about sausage and chips. Who can't enjoy a really yummy plate full of sausage and chips? This is my version of a healthy, low fat, obviously it's gluten free, favourite meal for the whole family. As part of the meal, just it was Sunday dinner, um, I couldn't be bothered doing a full roast, so we had sausage and chips. I like to make it that little bit special for Sunday. I do some Yorkshire pudding. I didn't do the um, toad in the hole because my batter usually fails miserably. And I bought some new batter mix from Waitrose. I'll give it a go. £1.50. And I'll let you see what happens with it. Enjoy. If you enjoy what you see, if you have any questions, if you want to watch more things about how to cook nice gluten free meals, then please subscribe. Thank you. Now this little video is based on lots and lots of photographs. I was doing this while I had guests around for Sunday lunch, so I thought I can't really record it, they think it's a bit odd, so I just snapped some quick photos on my phone. Just showing you the bags of chips that I bought, first of all. Read the labels, one of my top tips. Some chips have a coating on them. If they say they've got a crispy coating or they're flavoured, chances are they've got wheat in them. So you need to double check those labels. I love the rustic ones with the skin on and my husband likes the crinkly cut ones which usually have a coating on. If he wants those, they could just cook them separately for him. So those are the chips. Even the bags of low fat chips have quite a bit of fat in them. And to keep it as low fat as possible and healthy, I did some sweet potato chips as well. Just chunked them up sprayed them with a little fry light and popped them in the oven for about 15 minutes and I got some nice, tasty, low-fat, healthy chips for me. Now for the sausages. You have to be really careful with sausages. British sausages are traditionally made with a rusk filler, which is breadcrumbs normally. So if you're um, not sure, double check the labels. European Continental sausages tend to be all right. They tend to be pure meat, much better than the English ones. Now, I love these Heck sausages. They're gluten-free, you can tell by the label. Really, really tasty. And these chicken ones are super low fat. They fit in on a Slimming World um, menu. I think they're about one sin each or something, or half a sin each. They're very, very low fat, really tasty. Not everybody in my family wants to eat the chicken sausages, so I... We bought these Waitrose chorizo sausages as well. And as you can see by the red there on the fat, they're a little bit less healthy, but I didn't have those. They are gluten-free. I could cook them at the same time as my others. And they were very, very tasty too. Now, what's Sunday lunch without a glass of wine to help it all go down a treat? I do like to have a little glass of wine while I'm cooking. It makes everything so much easier to cope with, doesn't it? Now then, there's a little bit of a rumour about white wine I've heard and how it affects us celiacs. I might be doing some more videos on that later, so keep tuned in on it. Yeah, it might be some bad news coming our way for white wine lovers. I've, um, yeah, I've heard some bad news about white wine, so I'll do a little research on it and I'll let you know what I find out. Here are the sausages sizzling away in the pan. I put a tiny spray of fry light on the chicken ones because they are so low fat they were sticking to the pan. But the chorizo ones, they have plenty of fat in them. I've no added fat at all in there. That's just their natural fat coming out, sizzling away. I could have grilled them, but the grill pan is a pain to wash, so I fried them. Here's the box of batter mix for the pancakes. It's um, It just says York Yorkshire pudding and pancake mix from Waitrose. It's new. I think it was about £1.50. I made it up according to the recipe for Yorkshire puddings. It doesn't say to make a big Yorkshire pudding, it's for 12 individual fatty tins. And as you can see, um, it didn't rise at all. It was another little pancake Yorkshire pudding from yours truly. I've never yet made a Yorkshire pudding that has risen. I don't know what I do wrong, but whatever it is, I fail miserably at them. Never mind, it was vaguely edible. Now then, this is my husband's lunch. I made him stop eating so I could take a quick photograph of it. 
um, as we had Yorkshire pudding exhibit, we decided he had to have gravy. So I would have done beans maybe instead of the vegetables, but with gravy I thought vegetables. Uh, the gravy mix is a Bisto one. So there's a photograph of the, the gravy jar. It's the Bisto best chicken one. And if you read the ingredients, it doesn't have any wheat or gluten containing ingredients in it. But it does say on the label it may contain gluten. With my daughter who's very, very sensitive to gluten, I might have to invest in some proper gluten-free gravy. But I personally don't have any problems with this gravy. I've never reacted to it yet. Um, but we'll have to wait and see how it goes. I sometimes think they put these warning labels on things to be on the safe side rather than for any other reason. Maybe you've got some ideas on this, I don't know. If you've enjoyed this, if you found it helpful at all, please subscribe, leave me a message. If you've got any questions, just put them in the comments box below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.